Hello there. We want to show you with this video how easy it is to configure the IP address from our Ethernet IP copier of the system Slio. So the interface module you see here, the slave module from the Ethernet IP is the 053-1 IP00. This is the, yeah, the former version with one RG45 here that you see here. Meanwhile, we have also another one with two RG45. So there is a little bit difference, but here we are now concentrated on the 00, zero version. So you have two options to change the IP address there, which is coming the default with a specific one, which show in the documentation, and you have the option to change this with the deep uh, switches here integrated, or to make it with the web server, which is integrated in the module itself. So default, we have always the address. So here we have the documentation open, it's a 192.168.1.1. So this is the soup mask also in the top here, three times 255.0, okay? So this is the default address. So important always to consider in this one version, the 00, zero is that you need always one module on it. So we, if you have the coupler, so that, that what you see here is the coupler itself, these two parts here. Uh, is not enough, so you need mandatory also to have one module um, linked to the coupler. Only then you can make the change of the address. Now we change uh, the IP address from the coupler via the web server. I use here as Explorer the Mozilla Firefox. I open a tab and I write here the IP address from the coupler 192.168.1.1 and enter. Now we have access to our web server. Here on top you find a few folder. I click here under IP and you see here the IP address. Now we want to change complete the IP address area from 192.168.0.5 for instance. Here is also important to change not only the IP address and also the IP address from the gateway. I change it here from 1 to 0 and we can let the 1 because we have the subnet mask the fourth octet 0 that means we have our area from 0 to 255 i save here now my ip address that takes a few seconds and you see a little bit also they do something and i refresh my screen from my laptop at the moment you see we don't have access I write here now the new IP address with the 0 0.5. I click to enter and how you see we have now access with the new IP address area and I can here check it here under IP that we have now the IP address area from 192.168.0.5. Important to say also that if you change completely IP address area you need also to ch change it in your network card from your PC. You have to access the area. To access the area, exactly. That means we double click on my laptop network area, double click, and I see under details, I have here the last and the new IP address area. And that was it. Yeah, so if you are in the same IP area, then you, can, you have access then to the copper. So that's why it was needed before to change also the address in the laptop. So, but this is this is uh, standard, so this is normal. So that's why uh, having just a laptop, yeah, which is uh, configured in the address area and having a browser, so you can easily, with a standard cable, you can easily change the address of your copper. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.